what I'm going to people, so Tommy Lee's officially a free man. Remember, Tommy Lee was um, in the Lachis scam thing that he was investigated by, and according to um, the Star a few months ago, they find incriminating evidence on his laptop linking him. So right now, I don't know how the case unravel, but according to the Star right now and his lawyer, Tommy Lee has, is a free man. You know what I mean? And that's a good Christmas gift for Tommy Lee because... He has um have these ongoing issues for the past three to four years. Um people are assuming and um trying to implicate him in him logic scamming. And he was saying that he is an innocent man and it goes to show that sometimes these artists artists are targeted by law enforcement. You know what I mean? Because Tommy Lee have um uh, always professes innocent and I'm glad to know that the law really prevails in this case because Tommy Lee has done nothing but more than just working and bring his demon persona which is part of his art and entertainment you know what I mean so for Tommy Lee lawyer to really get him off this case turns up to his lawyer and people I just I'm just glad that Tommy Lee is um able to put all of this at rest you know what I mean? Because for a man that know that you didn't do something and it was plaguing you, know that you just want to entertain and these things are following you. It wasn't a good look. Yes, I agree that he has this uh, persona that would be um, peculiar and would be scrutinized by uh, law enforcement and because he's an uh, uh, entertainer for Montego Bay. I understand the the circumstances in which the police would want to investigate him and i'm glad they did it and Tommy Lee is now a free man because if he said that he didn't do all of these scamming that they were trying to implicate in him in and was there just deny denying it all along people would have out there speculating that Tommy Lee is a scammer you know what i mean for so far the police to do their investigation and remember US law enforcement was um, behind the Jamaican government working with them trying to um, quell this and trying to get um, transparency in this case so it wasn't just the Jamaican law enforcement you know what I mean because this is an international thing where the scammers were taking money from international American citizens you know what I mean so if Tommy Lee was involved in any way, Tommy Lee wouldn't be walking free. You know what I mean? So I think Tommy Lee should actually sue the government because this tarnishes reputation in certain way. You see me? Because right now he's free and that has been hanging over his head for almost two to three years. You know what I mean? So I'm saying that Tommy Lee should um and his lawyer should have some legal course in um getting compensation for his for his reputation being tarnished by um the jamaican government and trying to hold this thing over his head not being able to perform not being able to travel so it was um a kind of ampering him in certain sense you know what i mean so i think that Tommy Lee should um file a lawsuit against the government that's my personal view but I'm glad to know at the end of the day that he's free. You see me? So big up yourself, Tommy Lee, and big up to your liar. Because if it wasn't your liar um, being proactive and getting um, the real truth of this matter, then you wouldn't be a free man. You see me? So big up yourself, Tommy Lee, and I wish you all the best for the 2019. Peace. Work in the country where you have to look pan. And him do great work too, cause even though him did a jail, him still be the champion DJ boy, yeah. and some boy we said them didn't want him go jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Wait for the Take me on, on that if you wish.